What's up guys? So I was watching this program the other day called Obese A Year To Save My Life USA and it was like, it was crazy. I mean I've seen it a couple times before but this episode was mental. Like Chris Powell, he is the man. Like whatever he does is just tight. Like he is literally the best personal trainer I've seen uh, on TV at least. So he gets these people who are just ridiculously overweight. Like he had this, um, he had this black chick from I think she was like Louisiana or something like that, and she was just like so big it blew my mind. Like it was like she was a whale basically. So it was following her at the start, and she was at this crawfish restaurant eating all kinds of crawfish. Like I think she had like ten pounds on a plate, like, just to herself, and some uh, sweet corn on the side, and that's just normal, right? That's normal to eat 10 pounds of crawfish to yourself. I mean, I don't know what she's thinking, like, does she not look at the plate and be thinking, that is quite a lot of food for one sitting? So she ate it all, obviously, and then the, the woman that was serving her, the little, like, um, what's it called? Uh, waitress came over, and uh, she was like, yeah, congratulations for eating 10 pounds of crawfish. You now get a free heart attack. And she was like, you now get a free t-shirt, which says Chris Powell is now gonna, you know, train you for a year to get in absolutely unbelievable shape, right? Lose tons of weight. So she was psyched, she was like jumping all over the place. She was like, oh my God, I get to get trained and get thin and my life's gonna change. So it's awesome, right? You're gonna get this personal trainer dude who is just, unbelievable to give you diet advice and like personal training and he's gonna basically live with you for a bit as well because he always does that like he always moves in with the people to train them and stuff so it started out good like she was pretty excited but straight away I was thinking I'm not sure about your attitude right because from the get-go she was talking about her dad leaving her when she was a little kid which you know that sucks but I don't see what relevance that has to you being so fat. Like, I can I can understand that you would be depressed over that. That's, you know, that is a given, because obviously that's gonna sort of fuck you up in the head a little bit. So that's fine, but like, just keep it on the down low. Like, don't use it, don't say it like every two minutes, basically. Don't say my dad left me every two minutes, because that's gonna get old, like, real fast, yeah? So he got her to do the first personal training session, like he always does, and like the first exercise he always seems to do is he'll get like this little bar thing, this little push cart thing in the, on the gym floor and he'll stack it up with some weights and then get him to push it backwards and forwards. And that's like a good little bit of cardio, I guess, and it's sort of getting your core involved and everything. It's fine. He wants you to do as many reps as you can, like going backwards and forwards and shit. As you can, right? That's fine. So she did about two and then she started crying and she rolled on the floor like a whale, like a beach whale, and was just bitching and moaning about, um, my dad left me, why did he leave me? And it's like, well, if you were like this when you were a little kid, I can sort of understand him wanting to leave because you're just a fucking little whiny bitch. So he was not impressed. He was like, this is my test to see what you're made of, basically. Like, this is to see where you're heads at, like if it's actually serious or not, and on the first day, on the first workout, whatever, she wasn't being serious, so straight away I was thinking, yeah, she's going to suck balls hard, and she's going to fail, and I've never seen Chris Powell fail anyone yet, um, but yeah, I wasn't impressed at all, so he kept on going, he kept on persevering with this chick, and she lost a little bit of weight, and his first target for the first three months was for her to lose £100. So she started out weighing like 435, and so he wanted her to lose 100 straight away, which is like, it's a, it's a lot, but if you weigh that much, and I think it's definitely achievable. Seeing as this guy, he knows his stuff, and he knows what's achievable, and like he'll get your diet like clean as hell, and he'll train you real hard. So I think it was definitely achievable. And then, so they were working out for like three months, and sure enough, he moved in with her uh, to help her out and everything, and like, when they, when they went to her house, when they went to her little place, like they always do it, they always pimp out their, their front rooms to be like a little gym. And like, I've never seen anyone be so pissed off at it. Cause she walked in and she was like, 
what have you done to my front room? Like, you've actually just ruined it, because there used to be a sofa and a TV, and I could just sit and watch TV all day, and now it's got no TV, and like, loads of gym equipment, which I thought was quite funny, because it's the whole point of the program, is to get you fit, and you're complaining about him trying to get you fit. And that also, she, she loved playing around with her air conditioning, for, for some reason. I guess because it's a southern state, it looked like it was definitely in the south. Um, it probably gets hot a lot of the time, so <clears throat> she obviously liked playing around with the air conditioning to make sure she was, she was comfortable, which is fine, obviously. And she's, if you're fat, then I'm sure you're, you get really hot sometimes. So I mean, I do, and I'm not even fat, so I can understand people wanting to control the air conditioning. But he, he locked it up, he got this little Perspex box with a lock on it and locked up her um, air conditioning and was like, I control it now, I'm gonna keep it at like a normal level and you're just, you're just gonna have to deal with it. And she probably kicked off, she got in a little fucking, she had a little hissy fit and was like, I ain't having that man, you can't control me. And she had a real big issue with um, people telling her what to do, which is fine, I don't like people telling me what to do either. But I think if you're gonna go on a program, if you, like she wrote to him, he didn't, he didn't select her uh, out of thin air, she wrote to him and said, please, Chris, please help me to be the thinnest person I can be. So she's only, you know, she asked for his help and he's helping her and she's having a little hissy fit about him helping her. So I, I just do not understand the attitude. Like you have to get on board 100% if you want to lose weight. So anyway, the first target was 100 pounds. I think she lost about 70, uh, which sucks because that's a big difference. Uh, and he was probably like annoyed. You can see he was, he was like really annoyed because, I mean, really, that ain't no excuses. And like he sent her to this doctor to get her thyroid and everything checked out and all her glands and all the rest of it just to make sure it wasn't like a glandular problem that was literally made it so that her body was just um, holding on to all the fat and there was nothing she could do about it. She came back clean and it was, <laughs> it was crazy because she came back from the doctors and she said, uh, he said I was healthy. She's, he said I was healthy. I don't have anything wrong with me. Um, that's not what he said. He said you have no glandular issues, right? Which is a big difference uh, from saying you're healthy. Like, she's clearly not healthy. If anything, she is unhealthy. But her glands are all right. So, that was funny. And then, so, for the second target, for the second lot of three months, he said, do you want to do it? Do you want to, like, set your own target? Um, and she said, yeah, like, which I thought was good. And then she set a really high target. She set 70 pounds for her second lot of three months. And he was surprised. He said he was only gonna give her 60 as the target. Um, and so she started out and she was like, yeah, I wanna do this, let's, let's get it. And um, I thought, all right, yeah, you might, you might do this now. You might you know, achieve something really good. And so he took, her, he took her down to this athletics track to get her to do some uh, laps. And so she started running around the track, and then she just started bitching and moaning again, as always, and giving excuses, like, my daddy left me when I was a little kid, and that ain't no excuse for not being able to do laps. So he was not impressed, I was not impressed, it was not impressive. Um, and then the, the last challenge I saw them do, because I, I turned it off, because I was getting so fucking annoyed at her attitude. The last challenge I saw, he took her to this uh, shopping mall, he took her to this flight of, of escalators and uh, he was like, yeah, you've got to walk up these escalators. Um, and she was like, I can't do that, man. How am I supposed to walk up them? And then he told her you have to walk up them backwards, like, um, not backwards, like reverse. You have to walk up against the flow of the escalators. Uh, and she just has this like fear of doing that. So she probably like kicked off over that as well. So I was just thinking all the way through, all these challenges, you have come to this guy to help you and every single time he tries to help you, you kick off and act like a little girl. So I was just not impressed at all. I thought like her attitude completely stank and I don't understand why people get selected for that program when there's millions of people around the world who want to lose weight and want to be in really good shape. And like, you cannot get away with that sort of activity. And she thought, like, the thing that annoyed me the most was the thing at the start of the program, on the first workout, when she she said, after doing this little workout that was nothing, like, no calories were burnt, uh, at the end of the workout she goes, am I thin yet? And I was like, no, <laughs> that's not how working out works. And I think a lot of people do think that. I think a lot of people do believe that if you do one workout, 
that's gonna that's gonna make you fit and you have to you know be be serious and be realistic and think uh, the the thing that's gonna make me lose weight and be fit is to be um, you know you have to be consistent and do things on a daily basis on a weekly basis you know you can't just be thinking tomorrow I want to be fit because that's that's not going to happen like for this body power expo that I'm going to in May I've got basically three months until the body power expo um, and I'm planning that far ahead I'm planning like three months ahead like this is where I want to be so I'm thinking you know in in 10 workouts time I want to be like my chest wants to be a bit bigger my arms want to be a bit bigger all the rest of it I'm not thinking tomorrow I want to be like completely different body shape so that's what you got to do man that's all I want to talk about is basically be consistent be realistic think about what you want to achieve and set realistic goals like don't just be a little whiny bitch who's gonna contact this TV program and this awesome dude who's gonna help you out 100% and then pussy out so yeah I turned off that program because it was just too stressful and I was just getting pissed off at her but that's because her attitude stank anyway that's all I wanted to talk about today you take care of yourselves bye bye